we have different techniques of local anesthesia. Uh, the, uh, the first technique is the infiltration, and the second one is in block. In case of infiltration, we provide the anesthesia di directly adjacent to the tooth that we want uh, to uh, do the procedure, whether it's sur surgical or operative. And the um, in, in case of the second technique is the block, during which we uh, provide the local anesthetic solution to the main nerves that supply the area, such as provide getting ID block uh, in case of uh, uh, doing the um, uh, operative or surgical work for the lower uh, jaw. In the case of infiltration, we give the anesthesia uh, uh, directly adjacent to the area we want to work. In case of uh, block, we, we anesthetize the main artery, the main uh, nerve that supply the area. Uh, if you want to do operative work in the upper arch, in the upper jaw, we give anesthesia uh, and as infiltration in the area adjacent to tooth, uh, to the tooth that we want to do uh, a deep procedure for it. If you want to do a surgical procedure in addition to the buccal infiltration, we should give uh, bilateral anesthesia. The bilateral anesthesia can be done directly. Uh, in adult while in pediatric, we should use the intrabillary uh, technique that we will show uh, it uh, soon. In the lower jaw, we can use the infiltration or the IED block um, depending on the situation. Uh, for most cases, if we want to do surgical procedure, it's better to do the IED block because the ID block provides us anesthesia for the, the tooth and the buccal uh, mucosa and the bilateral uh, mucosa. Uh, in the case of uh, operative work, we can use the, um, uh, the infiltration uh, directly to the tooth adjacent uh, to the area adjacent to the tooth, depending on a um, equation uh, during which we can uh, add the, the number of the tooth with the age of the patient. Um, uh, if it's less than 10, we can use infiltration. And if it's more than 10, if, it's, if it is 10 or more, we should use the um, ID block. In this rule called the rule of 10. For example, in this model, we have the permanent teeth. Um, if we consider it as primary teeth, this is the A, B, C, D, and E. Uh, in this case, the rule of 10 means that we can add the number of the tooth with the patient age. If it is less than 10, we can use infiltration. For example, if we have this D and the patient age is 4, we, can, we add the patient age 4 plus the number of the tooth 4. It is 8. It's less than 10. We can give uh, infiltration for the area here in order to, to do operative work. Another example, if we have this P and the patient age is 6 and we want to do operative work for this tooth, it, we, we, we add 2, the number of the tooth, then the number uh, of the tooth and uh, 7, the age of the patient, it's 9, it's less than 10, we can do operative work for, for, for this. If the number of the if if the um, if we add the patient age and the number of the tooth and we get uh, ten or more, you should give um, uh, uh, we should give ID block. Uh, the ID block provides us anesthesia for the teeth. In addition to the ID block, the lingual nerve will be anesthetized, but the buccal area will not be anesthetized. That means that after doing the ID block, we should provide buccal infiltration here in order to anesthetize the long buccal nerve.